Hey, Scout Stan. I want to talk a little bit about the World Conservation Award. Now, this is available from Cub Scouts, troops, and crews. So, throughout all of the different things in scouting, you can actually earn the patch. Now, the patch is awesome, okay? The, I'll put them up as we go along. So, it is one of the coolest patches out there, and a lot of scouts want to earn them. So, there are different requirements for them. And before we jump right into the requirements, the patch actually has the, uh, I believe it's the World Wildlife Fund Bear, Panda Bear on it, uh, which makes this little W with its feet. It's really the coolest looking patch out there and it's highly sought after. Now, as a adult leader, we need to implement something to get this award out there. Now, whether it be in Cub Scouting, when you get into the requirements, I'll talk about that, but get in Cub Scouting, you can get the whole pack involved and they can all do something. And there are some similarities between packs, troops, and crews. So that's something to consider. A lot of times we need to think globally, act locally. That's one of the big tenets that comes up again and again with the World Conservation Award. In general, all of the requirements are rank advancement type requirements and a service project. So you might already be pretty close there. Almost every unit, Cub Scouts, troops, crews, they all do service projects for the community. And that is one of the big requirements. Now let's talk about the wonderful Cub Scout requirements. Whether you're a wolf, bear, or weeblo, or an arrow of light, uh, AOL is like we, we like to call them, uh, you have different requirements. Now I'm going to put down below, I know you don't look, but down below there is a link to a PDF for all the different requirements for the different levels in Cub Scouts. So definitely go down there and get that. Now it's true for troops and crew. I'll put that down there too. But generally it's the requirements to progress to the next level because we talk about the environment, we talk about wildlife, we talk about nature all the time in scouting. Now your pack and den or whatever kind of group you have. Now you can combine this with the troop. So you have to do a service project of three or more hours about conservation. So <laughs> it's, that is one of the one things that you need to do for the rank requirements for a pack for Cub Scouts. They need to be able to do a service project. Now, granted, the wolves are not going to be the same as the AOLs. So it should be kept according to what their skill levels are. So with a Cub Scout pack, you need to keep that in mind. Scouts. Now, when you get into a troop, a troop can have many different requirements, but this one is based on merit badges. That's the wonderful thing about it. Now, to do merit badges, um, typically they really don't come into play until you go to summer camp or you're, you're finished with your first class rank, okay? But that doesn't exclude you. You can work on these merit badges because they don't happen overnight. Some of them take some time. So that's something to consider. Now, theoretically, you need three merit badges. Uh, some of these are required and some of them, uh, I'm going to put them up on the screen. Some of them are optional. You can get one or the other. Um, some of these are required for Eagle. So if you're going for Eagle, you probably have two of them already. <laughs> okay, that's the wonderful thing about it. And then it's just a service project. Uh, again, I'm going to put it down there, down in the descriptions, down in the thing that says read more. You click that, there'll be little links. As I put a lot of stuff in there and I want you to look at it, okay? So there's a link to download the PDF for all the requirements, all the specifics of the requirements. So let's let's talk about these merit badges. Now, environmental, environmental science or sustainability, hard to say. So environmental science 
or stainability are the two merit badges. Now, both of those are EGLE required, but they're either or. You need one of those. That's the first one. Uh, the next big one is soil and water conservation or fish and wildlife. Okay, now those are not EGLE required, but you need to get one or the other. And the last one you need to get is your citizenship in the world. Pretty simple. Okay, three merit badges, service project, and you've got it. You can wear it. So I'll put, I've, I've, you've seen all the stuff on the screen, okay? So definitely take a moment, download the PDF. Now, crew, the crew is a little more involved, okay? Crews and Sea Scouts, they are also can get this, mer this, this patch, okay? And it goes on the temporary section, which is below the flap, which is right here. It goes below the flap, okay? That's where it would go. So uh, this is different for Venture, Venture Crews, and uh, Sea Scout ships, okay? Those two can also get them, and I will put the link down there, and you can look them up. All different ones need to do a service project, and you can do that with a pack. If you're a troop, you could do your service project with the pack. It gives them an opportunity to do some of the service along with you. Crew, ships, all of them can do their service project together. That's totally up to the leadership and I highly recommend that you work with other packs and troops. It is very important later on when the AOLs are looking for a troop to join. Okay? They're going to think about you because they did a service project with you. So you need to get that together. Okay? So that there's a, there's a troop to go to that they've worked with. They know. Okay? So very, very, very important. And I will put all the links down there and up there and and all over the place. But as a leader, I highly recommend that you get involved with this for your youth. The adults, I don't believe, are qualified to put the patch on. <laughs> find anything. I think it is a youth only patch. Okay. That is something, but we don't need a patch, right? <laughs> Let's go out there and get this thing. Okay. We have it in our heart. Okay. So we don't have to worry about a patch. We don't have to worry about sewing it on. That's another issue. But anyways, uh, as far as uh, working with a troop, working with a pack, totally cool. Packs, reach out to a troop. If they aren't reaching out to you, you need to reach out to them. This is something that adult leaders need to work together. Do your service projects and have fun. And I know you do a lot of this stuff, so and I appreciate it. I really do. And I thank you for all the time and effort you put in for America's youth. Thank you. And you know what? I'll see you on the trail.